And so what you will do is record your observations in these tables here. Time to melt, whether that suggests as a low, medium, or high melting point, and the suggested type of bonding, be it ionic, polar covalent, or non-polar covalent. For melting, you should be able to see one for each of these. For solubility and conductivity, technically, there are two possible answers for any substance that dissolves. And there's one answer for a substance that does not dissolve. Here I had number of scoops per 50 milliliters of water. You could just put two scoops or more than two scoops because we did not go to the limit. So we, we know it's soluble. The main thing is that it's soluble. Or you can just put soluble, insoluble, soluble. Conductivity on a 1 to 10. A was 10. No, A was 0. B was 0. C was 10 because I went in reverse order. Answer the questions up top. Make sure you fill out the apparatus. Have your hypotheses on this table. And then you can submit. Before you submit, you're going to copy this, these three tables and paste these results into the part B, 5.1B. At the top of that, that part is for the analysis and conclusion. So you copy these three tables and paste them at the top of 5.1b so, so that when you turn this in, you can still have those results to look at while you work on part b of the lab. And that's it for this class.